Hey everyone, this is the second video I'm doing for the Elm 327 OBD2 uh, scanner for the car. And I've played around with the uh, Torque Pro software and I'm going to go over the, some of the settings. So first of all, uh, if it's a new uh, download for this software, you need to go to the menu selection and go to vehicle profile and you need to set up a profile for your car so some of the things that it asks for is the name of the car the engine displacement and the weight and the rest of it I still have to set it up properly but basically go down the list and set up all the parameters accordingly for your vehicle once you've done that then what you can do is go to the menu go to settings okay the settings here themes and you can choose a theme for all the different uh, style of gauges you want to see so there's some with uh, for example if you scroll down a little bit more there's there's some with uh, red numbering silver bezel blue numbering green numbering this one has a white face um, you can see different styles just choose one of them and then it will um, display on the uh, real-time information you can also change it to the background image if you choose to choose to choose a different picture all right the other thing you can do in the settings is uh, you can use um, go to this units to select what units you want miles, temperature, distance but let's go back to the main screen now the real-time information if I click on this by default if it's a brand new uh, software download these are the ones that you would see okay and you can actually add as many display as you want and you can see on the right side there's actually different pages you can actually set up more pages if you want through the settings and if I scroll up further you can see this page is blank so by default you're gonna have these ones the six different dials and here you see these are the ones that I've set up so let me quickly show you how you can set up some of these alright so all you have to do is press the screen add display and it'll ask you for different type of uh, display type okay your dial for needle meter half a dial half a dial meter or, or needle and so on and so forth so basically you just choose what type of display you want and there's more now some of these at the bottom are just standardized uh, graphs or display information so let's choose one that is a dial needle and then these are the categories after you choose the type of dials these are the type of parameters you can actually choose so let's find one say for um, uh, engine RPM right there engine RPM choose a size tiny small medium large so here I can choose a large and it'll give me a large and now with this highlighted you can move this around okay let's try again here it is you can delete it you can delete the display send it to back bring to front you can actually overlap gauges that's why there's a send to back and um, bring to front so let's uh, close this let's bring another gauge on here add display let's do um, half dial meter this is going to give you a square display and we'll choose something here let's see engine coolant temperature we'll make it a medium so here you have a medium size okay okay hold down you move it move it over here and basically you just keep on adding 
the uh, type of display you want and then let's go back to the one I've set up so I've just kind of randomly chose some of the information that my OBD2 might uh, show up show uh, display from my car uh, one thing you learn is that every car is going to have different type of uh, information that will report back and right now obviously I don't have any uh, information because I'm in the house I don't have uh, the OBD2 um, uh, the scanner the Elm 327 connected to the car yet so but just want to give you an idea how to set up the display okay now there are something called uh, there's something called a, uh, a plugin I think it's a menu settings there's one for plugins click on plugins and it says install plugins and it'll tell you some of the ones that's been installed already graphing adapter status test results and this one you can download as an app is free it's called the track recorder and this one's kinda cool I'll show you what it does so what I'm gonna do is go to back to the main screen and once you install the plugin you see that the icon shows up there's a track recorder I'm gonna click on that okay and what you'll notice is it gives you a screen that is translucent and it has gauges on top of it so what you can use this for is you can actually actually record while you're driving um, it's almost like a head-up display I mean, kind of maybe not exactly but you can record while you're driving um, with all the gauges along the top and the bottom and you can go on YouTube actually find uh, several people that have done some uh, track uh, videos so basically in a nutshell this is what the uh, setup you can do in the torque software and I'm gonna get in my car plug in the OBD2 uh, Elm 327 and then see what kind of kind of information I report back okay I'm in my car now I know it's nighttime uh, I don't have a lot of time in the morning to do this so uh, I want to show you what uh, some of the display it shows in the car uh, some of the um, dials that I put in here uh, no data is reported uh, I guess it depends on the OBD uh, 2 computer you have um, there's some basic information that shows up like the temperature intake temperature coolant temperature um, the revs on the engine uh, and I'm sure if I drive around it will have uh, more data collected so it's kinda cool you know you, you need to play around with it see what works for your car what doesn't uh, but you know besides this function you know you do have your regular uh, checking engine fault uh, engine faults fault code so you can uh, read any fault code you have in the car and then clear that that's about it uh, I, I, I kinda got a chance to play around with it uh, it's kinda neat I think for the price you can't beat it twenty dollars for the OBD2 um, uh, plug-in module uh, five dollars for the Torque Pro is, is not a huge investment if you don't like it you know um, you didn't drop a lot of money so anyways if you got any questions drop me a comment if you like the video subscribe and thank you for watching